This is a brief introduction to this piece that I've been sort of working on. Uh, I haven't got quite a feel for it. I have the first, I have two versions where it's sort of short one and a little more protracted and re uh, introspective. And then the first one I'm very short is his head floating in the dark. And, you know. So I call it, um, it's a performed piece and it's called View, Thought, Memory. And uh, the first one's pretty, pretty succinct. It's a good feel to it, and uh, I haven't got the, the gestures that I want down. Uh, and, anyway. So it's sort of, it's in a way, it's sort of a depressing piece, but I, not really. It's just supposed to be introspective and thoughtful, I guess. And the second one's a little more depressing and even more introspective. How you know, you know, you know, put the euphemistic phrasing to it. So this is the sort of introduction to those two pieces that you can say, at least anyone worth watching. Where's something sort of funny, like the. Uh, the um, uh, e life or uh, Eluor e readiness for the 2000 C and Eccleston and 20 days later, 28 days later, and Eccleston. Who's that? I found out that you can't have only so many uh, keywords. It's hard getting all the multiple spellings. Names, you know, Christopher and different languages and different transliterations and stuff. I knew a guy from Greece, and his name, was, of course, would be would be uh, his name was. Uh, 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 Christoph Christoffel and his last name I can't remember his last name but it's Christoffel with C R C H which is actually H R which is Rho uh, I S T O F E which is the F which is the P H also in English but they also have a F E which is that and there is no F but in Russian they have the F E and a V and Abba Vagede so and even more so in the Oriental languages, which I'm preparing as I speak this thing for the spring, uh, Far East Studies, and uh, this should be really good, I'm, I'm, and then will put together. And uh, topography and some design, uh, Greg Matz had sort of suggested an idea on that, so I'm sort of putting that together. I don't have a much more wider view of typography, which is typically uh, metal casting type, and if anything, they, pub they mentioned, by the way, oh, and yes, in China, there was this guy who, uh, uh, Chia, who uh, invented the, the, the type, and is generally uh, such and such, such, and so you get maybe one page or paragraph, and if you're lucky, you get a picture of it. But again, typography and calligraphy and the art of drawing and the art of making the letters and creating type. So I'll also assume that there's all these existing things out there that we can draw upon, and so just to go through and form this sort of a space, this conceptual space. Um, that will, um, yes, it's like obviously the Acme conceptual conveyors, you know, I'm a very good fan of Wiley Coyote. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Peace, you know, I mean, go on, do stuff. And, uh, on and go. And we're on out. Got a hat. I don't know.